Did you know the German-Austrian actress Maria Baumeister has three children and each of them is from a different relationship? Why couldn't she make her relationship work? What made her fail again and again? A troublesome childhood? Authoritarian parents? The tough cutthroat life of media and fame? But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video! Family Background of Acting Maria Baumeister was born in Salzburg, Austria in January 24, 1972. Maria Baumeister was born with a love of acting and performing arts in her genes. Her father, Edwin Noel Baumeister, was a popular German stage and TV actor. Edwin Noel went to the Nachbauer Drama School in Munich. He made his debut at the Munich Volks Theater in 1965. He had over 40 TV series appearances to his credit. Muriel's mother, Barbara Hasselbeck, was also related to performing arts. Barbara Hasselbeck was a moderately famous dancer and a dance teacher. Attended University of Applied Sciences in Germany. Influenced by her father's acting career, Muriel Baumeister had wanted to be an actress since her childhood. Muriel completed her high school education from Musisches Gymnasium Salzburg, which is a music and art school situated in the Itzling district of Salzburg, Germany. After her graduation, Muriel debated her choices of future careers. She got admission to the University of Applied Sciences, Fachhochschule, or FH, Germany, and attended the classes for some time. However, soon she left her degree program to pursue her career in acting. Acting career. While she appeared in supporting roles in a few films, Muriel Baumeister is better known for her work in television, film, and series. The first role that brought her recognition was in the family series Ein Haus in der Toskana. The series earned Muriel a Telestar Award in 1991 for her performance. In 1992, she made her cinema debut in the comedy Der Brochen, directed by Vladim Glaula. The film entered the 22nd Berlin International Film Festival. Muriel Baumeister played the role of Svetlana in the film. In 1992 and 1993, a recurring role in the German drama TV series Der Lanzart on Sweden Duschken Fersehens, or ZDF, network, added to her popularity. The series was a hospital drama about country doctors, Dr. Karsten Matissen until 1992, Dr. Ulrich Teschner until 2009, and Dr. Jan Bergman and the residents of the fictional small town of Diekelsen. The series was very famous among its audience and ran from 1986 to 2012. Her next major role came in the Einsatz Hamburg Süd, a German crime series that aired from 1997 to 1999. Maria Baumeister played the role of Carla Simon in the series. She and her partner, Turkish-born commissioner Sema Aslan, played by Meryl Perrin, are a detective team in a police station close to the milieu. Despite their ethnic and cultural differences, which sometimes led to friction and arguments, they are usually a good team. However, their male colleagues, especially their boss Richard Waffman, distrust them both. Despite the problems they face, they are able to solve crimes others cannot due to their unconventional methods and quick thinking. Muriel Baumeister's other works include The Amber Amulet in 2004 and A Princess to Fall in Love in 2005. In 2008, she played the role of Mia Marr in the TV movie The Old Lady's Visit. In 2013, Muriel Baumeister was cast for the role of Berta Drews in The George, the television film docudrama directed by Joachim Lang. In this movie, Muriel Baumeister got the opportunity to work along Gott's George. She also played the role of Mia in the German television series Bis in die Spitzen. Bis in die Spitzen was based on the hit British BB series Cutting It. Other than that, Muriel Baumeister made many guest appearances in series like Derek, Tatort, Polizier of Wonden, and The Dream Ship. In recent years, Muriel Baumeister has not been active. After her struggles with alcoholism and a little weight gain, her popularity dropped and work opportunities dwindled for her. In 2015, she played a single mother in the series Frauenherzen. However, unfortunately, the series was cancelled due to low ratings. In 2016, she took on a supporting role in the ZDF series Die Bergretter. In 2017, she appeared in Soko Donau, the long-running Austrian crime series. She also worked in the series Keth und Ich in 2019, and in Der Staatsanwalt in 2020. In 2021, the actress appeared in the TV series Legal Affairs and Leipzig Homicide, Personal Life. In 1993, Muriel Baumeister got married to Rainer Strecker, a German TV actor. She was only 21 years old at the time. The couple had a son born in the same year. Unfortunately, their marriage did not last long and the couple got divorced five years later in 1998. In 2003, Muriel Baumeister started dating Pierre Besson, another German actor. The two got acquainted during the shoot of the television film Emotions in the Storm in 2002. Muriel and Pierre Besson welcomed their daughter together in 2006, but less than six months after the birth of their daughter, the relationship broke up. 
In 2010, Muriel Baumeister met the love of her life. However, as she had wanted to keep the relationship private, she never disclosed the identity of her partner. The couple has a daughter born in December 2014. Muriel Baumeister has a courteous relationship with her exes and the fathers of her children, and all of them are involved in the lives of their children. In 2014, Muriel suffered a personal tragedy. On June 27, 2004, Muriel Baumeister's father, Edwin Noel Baumeister, was found lifeless in his apartment. It came to light that the actor had passed away by taking his own life. He was 59 years old. After suffering from the loss, Muriel Baumeister took some time off from the television and vanished from the public eye. In 2016, Muriel caused a parking accident. Her then 11-year-old daughter was also in the car with her. When tested for alcohol level, she had an alcohol level of 1.45 per mil in her blood. After the accident, Muriel Baumeister was convicted of negligent endangerment of road traffic. She had to pay a fine of 1,600 euros and surrender her driver's license for nine months. It was after this accident that Muriel Baumeister's struggles with alcohol became public. After the accident, Muriel also realized that she had a problem. The alcohol had slowly taken over her life. She suffered from severe postpartum depression after the birth of her second daughter in 2014, which further plunged her into her addiction. After realizing she was struggling with alcohol addiction, Muriel Baumeister admitted herself into Charité on the S-Bahn in Berlin, a psychiatric facility and rehab center, and went into cold retrieval. She has been sober since and regularly takes blood alcohol level tests. Three years after her accident, Muriel Baumeister wrote a book about her experiences called Hinfallen Eats Kein Schande, Nur Liegen Bleiben, which translates to There is no shame in falling down, just lying down. She co-authored the book with Constance Behrens, known for the Berlin theater sitcom Guts Wedding, Bad Wedding. While promoting her book, Muriel commented, you can drink yourself to death in this country and nobody does anything about it. With this book, she aims to encourage people who struggle with alcohol that they can take back control of their life and that there is help available for them if they only decide to reach out. Which one of these facts about Muriel Baumeister did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.